it's hard to make decisions that impact a child's life. But teachers on a daily basis do that because it is their job. But I find that, that when you are listening to the students, and a strategic teacher knows how to do that, to listen to the students, to know, to adjust, to analyze what they're saying, to go forward in a different way. You know, we always know the term, if you keep on doing what you've been doing, you're gonna keep on getting what you've been getting. So that type of philosophy helps us to understand that we can't do that. We need to listen to our kids. You don't know if kids know anything unless you listen in, unless you give them a chance to show what they know. Um, and our instruction needs to be more based on where, wh what does my kid know now and what do I need to teach them next. I'm a big fan of rubrics. Okay. Very simple, child-centered, understandable rubrics. Expectations, checklists, points attached to it, grades when necessary. What do my students need to do to accomplish this task? And when they know up front, and we know what, they're, what we're looking for and we know what, where we want them to go and they know why they're doing that, they're more likely to, you know, to be successful with that. So I think that, that having rubrics helps us to do that. It also helps us to listen to those students, those collaborative conversations. You know, when I do whole group instruction, I always have my students paired up with the most productive partner they can possibly have or either a trio or a duo. And I will walk around uh, randomly and listen in. And there's so much that I find out about them by listening in, mm -hmm. but also by having a checklist. Uh, I'm also a big fan of anecdotal notes. I know some teachers cringe when I say that, but then when I demonstrate it, they see what I'm talking about. You do need to keep some tabs. And it can be simply something like check, check plus, check minus. Mm -hmm. I know that some of the things that uh, I've shared with uh, my McGraw Hill colleagues and in our, some of our work are some of the checklists that I use in classrooms that are easy to do or teacher friendly, but also provide us with a picture and a snapshot of where those students are one day so that we can help them to move the next steps the next day.